Okay. I've always been uh, interested in my life in the downtown situations in small communities, mainly because when I was uh, elementary school in Covington, Ohio, uh, the only place to go was downtown on Saturday nights. I worked church on Sunday. That was it. And uh, art, I was somewhat artistically uh, uh, driven, and there was something about the scene of the old, uh, the old uh, buckets and the wood and the trays and the people and the moving back and forth. And, and for a kid my age at that time, that was a real thrill. So I always held that, always held that with me. And uh, several years ago, I said, "Why not paint? Why not paint some of those particular scenes?" So. Uh, they can live in my memory a little bit more and so on and so forth. After all, when we do get a certain age, you know, we need that memory booster every once in a while. And that's basically uh, what it's been. It started out with Urbana, Ohio, uh, through postcards. I collect a lot of postcards. And uh, the time period that I use basically is uh, 1,000, excuse me, uh, 9, 1999, 1995 to 2000. But it, it's it basically in the beginning of the downtown uh, spree because the Industrial Revolution had taken place. Shops were opening up downtown. Uh, there's remember no uh, WalMarts or anything like this, and uh, and people were going there, and it, and it had an air of it. The, the buildings were uh, very much disliked by many people in the 20th century, but I found them all pretty much beautiful and uh, individualistic. I guess what I like, and the and the amount of measurable amount of information. Uh, that contained in each of the paintings. And then it, it strikes strikes a uh, sympathetic chord with me too, but some of them, like, this struck a sympathetic chord because I'd known the family for a long time, and they're very special people, and I was to come about a uh, f photo of uh, the, uh, the great leader of the family when he owned a uh, market in, uh, I think, around 1900, and uh, which uh, he continued for the next 15 uh, to 20-some years. And it was placed in a major architectural setting in the, in the community, downtown, not out, uh, although he did others. And the images are so interesting and uh, uh, what it tells you of history and how groceries were sold and who sold them and, and what they did with the buildings to uh, make them more uh, excitable for people. Uh, and then the families built from that who I've, who I've known. And every time I paint one, I remember somebody or remember something about my childhood. Sounds like corny stuff, uh, but for me it isn't. It's, it's very important, it's connection with the past. And then I, uh, a lot of people make contact with me who are the families and things like that, which is very pleasing to me. Um, the style's a little, bit, uh, a little bit different. Do we have time for the style? Yeah, real quick. Okay. Uh, I, I learned this, the paint is applied with wood blocks uh, on the canvas. The wood blocks are painted green or blue and then pushed on and scraped, stamped or whatever. This came from the edge of a block here rather than drawn it with a, a brush or something like this. Uh, this goes way back to my high State days where the instructor was telling us, get rid of a brush, do something different for a change. So I did some stamping of wood and over all these years that sort of laughs at me. So it creates a un another thing that's sort of unique to it. And I didn't want mine looking like everyone, for better or for worse. I didn't want them looking like everyone else's. So uh, it's, a, it's to many a mundane subject, but to me it's uh, my childhood and the love of imp visual information, the love of history, the love of the people who established these institutions at that particular time with a, with a, uh, with a uh, technique that's very different and uh, very unique, which some people will like a lot, some people won't care for, which is fine too. I'm glad that's the situation. But uh, pretty much in a nutshell, that's where, uh, where I'm coming. I'm, I just happened to have this one, which is very, very meaningful, and uh, along with many others I've done, without uh, people. Uh, do you have time for the one up here? Yeah, I'm going to do it. First of all, let me, uh, just so everybody knows, uh, this is Mike Simpson. He's been an art professor, art teacher at Urbana High for, I think, over 40 years. Uh, when I went to high school, his father was our principal, and he found this picture. Either he found it or my sister Mary found it. Uh, and it's a picture of uh, the, the original, one of the original grocery stores that the Mott family had, and that's our grandfather, George Mott, standing in the store. And of course, it was a George Mott grocery. Uh, so now Mike's going to take us around and show us a couple other pictures. I just want to show you this one. Uh, this is the 
first one I've paint, <coughs> excuse me, painted with the human subject uh, this much. Mostly it's just the architecture and a couple blurbs and splashes for representing people. But they, uh, they were very sympathetic to me. This is 1930, in, in, right in the middle of the 30s, 35, in the middle of the Depression. It's obviously a, a haggard uh, Depression family. Uh, and I, I grew very empathetic with the situation, the little girl and the baby and the very slender man and the, the tired looking worn woman, uh, pretty much alone walking through our uh, great market uh, square in, in Urbana. Uh, was this taken from a picture? This was taken, yes, this was taken from a picture that uh, we, found, uh, we found on the internet. Yes, I will, I will, uh, I will do I mean, just goes. I'll change them like I wish, and I'll control the colors like I wish. But a place to start, yes. I, uh, I also do just as a side. I do football pictures and paintings of pros in college. Uh, I'm very pleased to have about uh, 13 pictures in the College Football Hall of Fame uh, in this particular style. So those are my two loves, basically: uh, uh, the football paintings and uh, the paintings of human architecture, as you find in the in the 1900s. Okay. Well, Mike, I really appreciate you spending the time showing us this, and we're very proud of, the, of our painting of our grandfather, but also very proud of the painting you did of him, and uh, we cherish it. Maybe someday we'll buy it from you. Okay? Oh, that'd be wonderful. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome.